I'm joined now by Scott Amex. He's a CEO of Amex Plus, author and an Internet of Things futurist. Thank you so much for joining us. My pleasure. So, Scott, in our story, we heard the term game changer. How significant is this quantum computer development and, and really what does it mean? Well, I think precisely what it means is that it is a significant milestone towards a universal quantum computer. Very important milestone is that we're starting to emerge out of the research era to commercialization. And I think China is very much leading the frontier with the satellite in terms of quantum teleportation as well as uh, the super, uh, super uh, uh, um, uh, quantum computing prototype that's been developed here. Uh, what's very exciting is that now we can actually solve some of the most difficult challenges that we as a society face. So you mentioned this first quantum satellite. Uh, now we have this computing machine. Why is it that China is so sophisticated when it comes to quantum technology? Well, I think overall, one of the things that China has done tremendously well is that they're outpacing intellectual property and patent development, and they're outpacing any other nations um, in, in history. And, and part of that is also the computation aspect as well. Quantum computing is going to uh, significantly, fundamentally change the way we do business. Uh, just for a, f a little bit of fundamental is that traditional computers process in a very serial, serial manner, which is zero and one. Whereas quantum computers, on the other hand, process it using a, a principle called uh, superposition, which means that it can be zero, one, and both at the same time. And what it means is that things can be actually sent all at the same time in parallel, and you get immediate result back. So you mentioned uh, the importance commercially, the quickness of this all. But in real people terms, how would this impact your life and my daily life? Well, there's a saying, um, finding a needle in the haystack. Uh, that is a very difficult thing to do. But with quantum computing, now you can actually isolate down to a specific sand particle out of all the sand in the world. Now, that's the kind of metaphor that we're talking about in terms of the type of computation and the complexity of computation it can do. So imagine what it means in terms of solving difficult challenges like cancer, uh, finding the formula, formula uh, and the permutations for pharmaceuticals that can address some of the most severe diseases, as an example as well as powering uh, the future generation artificial intelligence that in, in, in the future can be fully autonomous and can handle systems of systems, especially in the context of smart cities. We have about 30 seconds left, Scott. Uh, we mentioned uh, cybersecurity hacking. This is a major issue around the world. Could this technology just make it harder to hack? Absolutely. One of the key advantages of quantum computing is this ability to handle something called the integer factorization using the Shor's algorithm. It's able to solve very difficult large prime factors, which means that it can actually break any of the existing crypto algorithms that exist today. More importantly, when you develop cybersecurity solutions on a quantum computer, it cannot be hacked. By the sheer principles of uh, entanglement, just the fact that you have a third party that's trying to observe it, it will actually change the result. And this is exactly what is being tested using that satellite uh, for the next two years. All right, Scott Amex in New York City, thank you so much for joining us.